the only other version of Zara Designer that I have on the computer at the moment is Zara Designer Pro 6. Zara Designer Pro 6 up here. Um, so here I have, I've got three vector shapes and I've got the utilities options. Uh, page size is an A4 portrait. Okay, so shut that down. If I just select that um, orange circle and go File, uh, Export, and I'm going to call this HD1 SVG. I've already exported it once, so it will say to replace it. I'll replace it. Okay, and I'll export that. Um, now, if I then go and look for that file, let me just bring this down here. This is everything that I use uh, to find all the sorts of things I'm doing. Um, I can open that, which should open it in Inkscape. Here's Inkscape up here, and can be clearly seen that not only is a circle being um, exported but the other two objects are as well and on top of that the page size has been exported can't select the page size but the page size has been exported put that down put that down to further show that I'm going to set the um, background, page background is a pale blue. Uh, again, I'll just set up the circle, file, um, export, um, it's SVG, and I'm going to call this HG2, export. OK. Then when I go to everything, HD2 HD2 SVG there I'm going to open that into um, Inkscape here it is and you can see that in Inkscape although it's not the whole page it's still got that blue background so uh, if if you're trying to use SVG exports in earlier versions of Zara, uh, they are quite a mess, to be quite honest. Okay, just to expand a bit further on this, um, on, here I'm back in um, everything. Um, I've got this HD one SVG and this time I want to open it with um, Firefox and indeed it uh, looks like it's um, fine that's instead of just one, one circle it has imported the other two shapes but if you notice that the page also has um, Sizing. Uh, if I, I can move that down, move this down here now. Um, just move them up. Come on, move them up. Move that down. You can see that there's still a page background. In fact, it's it's not just those clean vector shapes is something that is showing it, giving it a background size um, which we don't want in SVGs. Okay so here we are still back in Designer Pro 6 um, and let me just drag select those over here and control C to copy them um, and then go File, New, Blank Photo. And I'm going to go 
control thing to paste those. Um, I'll delete this one this time just to make it look different. Um, and if I select those and go File, Export, I'm going to call that uh, HD3 Export. OK. That's exported. I open up everything again here now. And I look for HD. Uh, open that. Uh, it will be open the Inkscape again. When it wakes up, here it is. Um, I think this time, you can possibly see that um, there's no additional page size. Um, there is an Inkscape which is showing up size but there's no actual page size uh, so I can drop that down and if I go into uh, open with Firefox I don't know why it's way up there uh, let me just bring this into Firefox You can now see that there's no scroll bars. Um, it just gives you the vector shapes as they are. Um, there's no page size being um, imported when you use the blank photo page, uh, which is a good workaround. Okay, now I'm back in Zara Designer Pro X16. Uh, what I can do now, um, this page, have a look, is options, options, options page size is an A0, which is a big page, uh, and it's landscape. Uh, okay, and if I just go to zoom, zoom to page, you can see that's quite a big page um, you go back there but what we can now do in 16 is if I just select that one object and go file export and I do that as HD uh, 4 should we call it I think HD 4 export and it I have this new option uh, and I just want to export the selected objects only I don't want to export the whole page area so I just select that export selected object only and these are these effectors we don't need to worry about um, rasterize, rasterization re resolutions because we're not using bitmaps at all and I go OK and then I'll reopen uh, everything and we want to look for four this time. Uh, there it is, open four. And if I say open, it will open in Inkscape. Here we are in Inkscape um, again indicates the page size but that's just the way Inkscape presents things um, if I go file uh, open with Firefox it just opens that one that's all there is to it and again there's no scroll bars so that's just the size of that SVG image and I find that far far better it's far easier now to use SVGs uh, between programs um, like whiteboard programs that I used to have horrendous problems with. Um, it's far better to use this now. Anyway, I hope this helped. This is Egg. All the best. Bye.